The Speed Champions theme is, to me, the most consistently underrated LEGO theme on shelves at the moment, and with the newest wave having released somewhat recently, I decided that in this video I'm going to rank them against each other and my entire collection. Starting with what I believe to be the worst set of this wave, we have the Lotus Avaya. If I wasn't already very familiar with the standard of modern Speed Champions builds, I'd be blown away by this. It feels like you spent ages shaping each door, which is unexpected, but fun. The splitter has a fairly cool build too, using a ball joint connection deep in the body. There are 19 stickers used for this car, which is the exact mid-ground of the 7 cars this wave. The reason this is the lowest ranked set of this wave is because of that continuous yellow-white line, which, as pointed out in Jangbrick's review, should be at the base of the windows and is completely inaccurate printed where it is on the cockpit piece. I also personally are completely unfamiliar with this car, so its shortcomings can't even be overcome by personal bias, unlike another car this wave. For those reasons, I'm ranking it an 8th out of the 22 speed champion sets I own, and yes, that is actually the lowest ranked set this wave. I'm telling you, Speed Champions is just getting better every year. Ranked relative to my entire collection, I put it at 53rd out of 148 sets, above the Formula E Panasonic Jaguar Racing Gen 2 car and Jaguar I-Pace E-Trophy set, and the Razor Crest. Now we have the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro, and the Valkyrie, despite how it looks, is a super unconventional build compared to the rest of the cars this wave. The highlight of this car was definitely the two tapered green sections on each side of the canopy piece. The last step of this build is pinching the back sections of this area in to double taper it, which was a completely unique step that I've never seen before. I kept pushing it out just to taper back in because it was really fun. The Vantage GT3 car on the other hand was pretty much as conventional a build as Speed Champions cars get and didn't particularly amaze me at any point really. Both to build and to look at, the Vantage is definitely the most boring car of this wave. The set uses 37 stickers total, 15 for the Valkyrie and 22 for the Vantage GT3. The total is the second highest sticker count this wave, but on an individual car basis, the Valkyrie is the second lowest sticker count this wave, while the Vantage is the fifth lowest, with three more than the Avaya earlier. Overall, I placed it one spot above the Avaya in my Speed Champions rankings at 7th out of the 22 sets. Within my entire collection, I placed it at 39th out of 148 sets, above the TIE Fighter Pilot and Stormtrooper Helmets. The build on that Valkyrie definitely carries this set here. Next we have the... <laughs> Mercedes AMG F1 W12 E Performance and Mercedes AMG Project 1 set. The Project 1 had one of, if not the single most interesting and fun build of any car this wave. This car was made with so much passion and you can tell because the designers went through so much effort to create such incredibly subtle details that could have easily been done in a more simple way. The front bonnet uses this brilliant ball drawing connection to create the most subtle indent I've ever seen. And the absolute highlight of this build was that fin piece at the back. It was such a joy to put together. I originally thought the wheels on the Mercedes AMG F1 blah 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 looked weirdly small, but turns out they're actually extremely accurate. In fact, the whole car was way more accurate than I expected, which was a nice surprise after the comically oversized Dodge Dragster car from the last wave. The build was insanely intricate for the F1 car, and the highlights for me were definitely the side skirts and the spoiler. The set uses the most stickers out of any in this wave, and by a long margin. With 56 stickers total compared to the next highest of 37, even on an individual basis, the Project 1 has the most stickers of any individual car this wave with 29, and the F1 car has the second most with 27. There is an excessive amount of them. With all that said, I ranked the Mercedes Duo set here at 5th out of my 8 Speed Champion sets, and 36th out of the 148 sets in my collection. Next up, and in my opinion the second best set of this wave, is the Lamborghini Countach. Both the front and rear taillights are fully brick built, which is always something I absolutely love in a set like this. And speaking of, the taillights build was absolutely the highlight of this set for me. There's these two Technic pieces that just kind of stick straight up in the middle of the car and eventually just pivot into place to create that perfect shape for the side intakes and taillights at once. The rest of the set is, I'd say, almost disappointingly familiar if you've built other Speed Champions cars. The set only uses 11 stickers altogether, which is the lowest of this entire wave, and it's also the only sticker sheet this wave where every sticker has a transparent background, which is something I generally prefer to avoid colour mismatches. I especially love the white and orange sticker placed on the splitter section, so that those colours bleed through the taillights to make them more realistic. I do have one major complaint about the set though, and that's that the canopy piece just isn't printed with nearly enough opacity. It's advertised to look like this, but you end up with this. If I wasn't such a Countach lover, this alone would have placed it much lower on my rankings. Regardless, I ranked it at 3rd out of the 22 Speed Champion sets I own. Relative to my entire collection, this puts it at 33rd out of 148 sets. It may follow my rankings in the future, but for now, this is where I'll put it. Finally, and what I believe to be the best car this wave, is the Ferrari 512M. This had an incredible build experience that was probably even better than the Project 1 from earlier. I can sum it up by saying that any section that looks simple, like those wedge plates behind the cockpit or even just the doors, 
are created in such a unique and fun way. In my script notes, the first thing I wrote about this after I built it was REALLY FUN AND INTERESTING in all caps. If that doesn't convince you, then I don't know what will. This car uses 16 stickers total, which is the third lowest this wave, just behind the Countach's 11 and the Valkyrie's 15. On a set-by-set -set basis, it's the second lowest, just behind the Countach. All in all, I've ranked this at second out of the 22 speed champion sets I own, just behind the McLaren Elva from last year. This puts it at 30th out of the 148 sets in my collection, just above the downtown diner set. And that's it for this video. There are two more speed champion sets coming out later this year, so I'll make a separate video for those when they come out. So yeah, thanks for watching. Farewell.